I have 12K in the background, 4K in Final Cut Pro, and I'm capturing the screen. Come on. Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on Alec GTV. My name is Alec Godwin if you're just meeting me and uh, today we are looking at the Black Magic Designs new codec color science Gen 5 from the clips of the much talked about industry groundbreaking awesome Mini Pro 12K. Yes, we have a 12K camera. <laughs> and we're going to be testing on the footage both in DaVinci Resolve and in Final Cut Pro all that and maybe more coming up all right welcome back if you're here for the first time you might want to consider subscribing to this channel because here we do music music videos, um, tech reviews, short films, movies, documentaries, the whole nine. And if you like to watch movies or you like to learn how to make movies, then this is a channel for you. Now let's get into this footage because um, it is mind blowing that I'm scrubbing 12K on my timeline right now. Now I'm going to be recording my screen and I'll let you know um, what I'm doing at every point in time. But essentially we are going to play around with these four clips, four clips of black magic design. And um, this one, the African-American girl, I guess she's African-American because I think they shot it in LA. She's definitely going to be the star of this, of this um, release because her face is just everywhere. Some of you may be asking, uh, but Final Code Pro doesn't support um, Blackmagic Raw. True. But here's what I did. I am more for Final Code Pro user, even that is changing gradually. I haven't made out time to practice my Da Vinci. I gradually learn one or two things because I don't have the time, which I'm going to create now anyway, because of this. I basically, I just want to compare. I want to compare one of what I can achieve from DaVinci Resolve and what I can achieve from Final Cut Pro. And this will help me in my decision going forward. Even though I'm not the best in um, both of them, I would say, but I'm a little bit more comfortable with Final Cut Pro. Now, um, sometimes I do great in DaVinci and I just slap on lots, um, pick on the best lot that looks better in my eyes and then I tweak the color saturation and exposure, uh, hue maybe a little bit and I'm done. Okay, I don't know how to create notes. I don't do notes yet. But um, on Final Cut Pro, I, uh, I do color grading with um, Magic Bullet, as you may have seen from previous uh, um, color grading tutorials. For you guys, hopefully hopefully somebody learned something. I hope this makes sense to some uh, Final Cut Pro users who might not want to give your all to Da Vinci. Now, if you do shoot your clip in 12K, it makes sense to get that resolution compressed to 4K, scale it down, you will still retain a lot of that and um, work on the 4K in uh, Final Cut Pro. Now, I used to do this same approach back in the days when I hired red cameras. What I did was on the right after the shoot on the location we already have the red um red scene app i think that's what it was called um and then as soon as we finish uh finish recording i'll transfer all the footage before the camera is taken away i'll transfer all the footage and um 
do the color grading right there. So all is set by the time I finish it, uh, whatever I want to put in. Then there was, well, then I didn't even know about lots. Or if, I don't know if lots was available then, but I didn't even know about lot, lots then. So um, I will just um, color grade on on the uh, Red Scene app, app and I'll get out of there. Export already treated clips to 1080p and so I'm ready to edit when I get to the office. So pretty much um, this might be the workflow for some people. I'm going to apply my lots. Um, I'll see which, let's see which looks the best. I think this is good, but let me try the Ari, the Ari lots on there. Oh, I think I like this. I like this. I'm going to stick with this. It gives me some depth and some mm, real good contrast. Okay. Okay. Where uh, in DaVinci, you can you can get your ProRes Pro Raw HQ from this top right uh, place here, if, if you don't know, on DaVinci. So you have all this option of custom, um, YouTube, you know, Vimeo. Yeah, and then you uh, you H264. You want to go with the ProRes RAW, so you can have something to work with. So now you are getting that dynamic range, and you are taking it in Final Cut's uh, Final Cut's uh, happy format, and then we work on it there. So we export this whole clip in ProRes RAW HQ. Yeah, 42 HQ. Let me do my quick color grading uh, in Magic Bullet, like I said. That's what I do most of the time. That's my go-to app. You could take this app, of course, um, um, Magic Bullet works in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I can actually go to Premiere Pro and open up the uh, app there. It's just the same environment, it's the same thing. So this works perfectly. Um, but again, you can use your Lumi tree colors on Adobe and all that. Do, the, do it the way you want, but you could take this ProRes RAW down to Adobe Premiere and as well as Final Cut Pro, that's the point, okay? Even in iMovie, you can also work on this picture in iMovie. Posting pictures on the gram so other people know that we're more than friends. Ever since you came around, I've never been sober, always in my head. Met you at a time when I was so low. I think this laptop is playing tricks on me. I have a, I have a, my screen downstairs in the living room is HDR, so I might want to take it back and forth. But I, I'll do my best. I would see 
what we can do, but I do need a monitor. I'm gonna play back everything I've done and let you watch it and um, try to guess which is which. Which is which? Let's watch it again now. I'll put the the clips and I'll show you which is which. Check it out. Let me know in the description below which you thought was better. Was the whole process any good? Was it a waste of time? Did you learn something? Now I have 12K in the background, 4K in Final Cut Pro, and I'm capturing the screen. Come on. Come on, guys. I'm so, so happy to be, to, to be a filmmaker at this point. You know, we have no excuses. It would be a shame if we fail, you know. This, 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 these tools are now available to us. We got to maximize our abilities. Okay, thank you guys for watching. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. As long as you don't get hurt, like, just one thumbs up will do. Um, comment, let me know your reaction, your feedback. If you want to talk about the camera, I'm still open to that. You're gonna be getting it. I would. I'm still working on it. Even if it means selling a lot of stuff in the studio right now. I will do it and I will lay my hands on this 12K easy to edit raw format. But it and the camera, we're getting it. Hopefully sometime soon I'll be telling you, yeah, I got it and we can play with more footages, okay? So keep in your prayers that I can actually get this, lay my hands on the camera, make my order, and uh, for now it's fundraising. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.